Hey everyone, New3012 here. Thank you guys for joining me on my Let's Play of Danganronpa. So, after witnessing two terrible murders, we're going to start investigating what the hell's going on here. And I'll probably upload all the investigations all in one day, and then the trial all in one day, just to keep it all hey. fluid. Before we start searching for Saika's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. It's not- I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, if he's the one that actually killed her, we can't just have him doing it. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in the position to destroy all the evidence you want. <sighs> what? Fuck you! So then. Fine then, I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Two-player co-op base defense with the two of them? With their stats, they're totally OP. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. Uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it. Or else we're all dead. Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file re we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. Huh? She's right! Then, could it be? Good god, they're already gonna fucking blame me, aren't they? All at once, everyone's gaze turned towards me. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> you expect us to b believe that? Just tell us the tr truth. The look in everyone's eyes had me do had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Thank you. Might as well look at her body. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse. Like they do in the movies and stuff, but... She... she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood? Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? H hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, uh, on, just, just a second! Sh she's dead? Then that means... That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Hell no! S someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! God. He's an idiot. What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to bring our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this, and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say more? Perhaps you be... I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going to. And just like that, Kyoko, he was, uh, just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you 
fucking They better it. not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'll do the same, uh, Mondo. You and me, man. I'm serious, I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We don't r really have to do anything in particular. We already know who k killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it was very you. Suspicious. Yeah, it was me. That's why I passed out when I saw her body, because I killed her. You guys have great logic. Fuck everyone. I hope everyone else fucking dies. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! D don't come any c closer. Are you g g gonna kill me next? So, um. Well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I w wanted to, I couldn't help in investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Yeah, but isn't Junko just fucking bleeding out everywhere in front of you? Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet! You have to hear me out! But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does any everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Is execution. Execution. Electric chair. Bzz, bzz, poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Yeah, we're all fucking going to die because everyone's too stupid to realize anything. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out that way, the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. I guess I should look through the Monokuma we got, file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizano. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was sta a stab wound into the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward, if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth, so that we all can survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file number one has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, let's go to the scene of the crime. I mean, it's not like those two are gonna give me anything health helpful. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Saika's corpse still remained. Better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Hmm, looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's weight less than there was before. Did Saika see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't imagine a situation where I'd, I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? What? Not just what? me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. 
By the way, none of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, cause like, why the hell would we? Toolkit has been added to the truth bullet section. You know, the next free time I get, I'm definitely hanging out with Mondo. He is too badass not to. The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly... Ah, oh, that's right! We ha we'll have to trade keys! When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then... How the hell did he get in? Or she? How did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Yeah, she was pretty scared. At least, she looked pretty scared. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it, or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, she was. it was nighttime when she got to her room, so she probably just went straight to sleep. No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone or walking around, so she couldn't have uh, dropped it. So, how did the killer? Let's look at the gold sword. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword has been added. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Well, it's just the sheath of it. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath now. But... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you'd do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only make only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Well, I mean, maybe the guy grabbed the sword and like started swinging and Saika grabbed the sheath just to protect herself. You know, like holding it up and blocking it. Because the blade's obviously used because of all the fucking scratch marks on the wall. There's scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? No, she was just having a, a late party. That's all. There's no struggle. Looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Yeah, the rooms are soundproofed. Which, now thinking about it, Monokuma probably designed that, so, you know. You could fucking murder everyone in their rooms. Huh? huh. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room next to, next to you, and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Yeah? Well put. Let's go talk to Kyoko. Hey Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? What the hell? Isn't it obvious? No, it's not obvious because I asked you what you're doing. N no, not really. I'm searching. Searching? 
Obviously searching for something, Nayagi. Come on. Don't be stupid now. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Yeah, that's what she's looking for. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck you. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I searched your floor from corner one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mentioned it, I noticed something while I was looking around here before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it? No, it just magically, uh... Magically lost a bunch of layers on it. I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? I mean, if I had to guess, I'd imagine it was the killer. Time for the fucking moment of truth here. On the other side of this door. Oh shit. Oh god. I don't want to see it again. No. I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Oh, it's hard to look at. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her, Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that held, thought held me up and supported me. Fuck. Fuck me. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's not no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sar sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's, that's definitely something I should check in... Should I should look into later. God, it looks like a kitchen knife to me, personally. I mean, the handle and all. Because a lot of kitchen knives have the the three rivets on them, usually. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's right wrist is broken. No, it's, uh, it's fractured, not broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. Yeah, it looks like she got hit with something. I don't know what, but it looks like she got hit with something. But there's something sort of glittery on there, her wrist too. Could it be like he hit her with a sword? Somehow? Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Maybe the sword wasn't actually that sharp, and... I don't fucking know. Because, I mean, that looks like a line, as like in the gold sword, so... I don't know. Another thing that- another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger. But, that's it. The palms on of both of her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her fi left finger? Saika's wrist has been added. The stab wound to her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? The killer walks up and breaks her wrist? So it's very possible she bro broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacks Aika in the main room, which is where when her wrist got broken. 
After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Mmm, brutal. I looked past Ayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? That looks like a name to me. Looks like Leon. I mean, if he flipped it 180, or like just read it backwards and upside, it's like mirrored. Looks like Leon to me, at least. Because the two uh, lines, there looks to be like a, a very faint uh, slash in between them. Written in blood with the number, it's 11037. Eh, uh, that, that three doesn't look like a three to me. It looks more like an E. Just all capitalized. Did Saika do this? No, the fucking killer did that. What the fuck? The fuck's wrong with you? It would seem... It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? Ooh, the bloody numbers. That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. Uh, bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning her only her he hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? It reversed? At least I think. Yeah, reversed. Well, think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not gonna tell me. Dying message. Sounds like Kyoko knows what Saika's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added. Correct. So the do door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll notice it right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoka said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob? Yeah, that's fucking broken. What? what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it is, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So they could kill her? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? Well, I mean, if you can't open the door, they probably assumed it was locked. But if you use a screwdriver, that means it has to be a male. Oh shit, I didn't see that. She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck by a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Uh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. She held the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. 
see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Bathroom doorknob has been added. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around elsewhere. Should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was that vi what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure that there are some other areas worth checking out. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. By the way, you know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have just destroyed, already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're so if I ever find that son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. You know what, Mondo? I think this is gonna be a beautiful friendship between us. But what if that it was a girl that did it? Now fuck you, Nyagi. Yo. <laughs> That'll get all get sorted out when the time comes, I guess. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever de the decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Well, thank you, Sakura, for holding your reservations. Leave the area? Yes.